The relationship between our two countries has certainly changed over the decades. From the Soviet Union during the Cold War to a thaw in relations in the 90s to Senator Mitch McConnell saying today, the Russians are not our friend. Why are Russia and the U.S. friendly? Good question. Heather Brown's checking this out. Heather, I know you spoke to your expert tonight and said uh, while Russia may not be an enemy, they are certainly a non-friend. Exactly, a non-friend. He says, look, we're not actively fighting with them in Syria or the Ukraine. We just wish they weren't doing what they're doing there. We also don't like them threatening Baltic states or NATO allies or our election system. But our expert says you have to understand where Russia was in the 90s to better understand our relationship today. It's important to understand mm -hmm. why Russians like to have a stable state and mm -hmm. why that's embodied by Vladimir Putin. James von Geldern is a professor of Russian studies at McAllister. In the 1990s, after the breakup of the Soviet Union, um, America came to Russia with money and lots of advice. It was a reaction to uh, the difficulty they experienced mm -hmm. after the Cold War. It was bad advice. Mm -hmm. A lot of it by people who knew a lot in theory but didn't really know Russia. What followed was poverty, chaos, and a leader in Boris Yeltsin. He had a good relationship with the U.S. Depending on who was in office at a given time. But not really the Russian people. He did what the American government wanted him to do. Mm -hmm. And then they got a president in place who wasn't going to do that. Von Geldern says Vladimir Putin centralized the government and stabilized Russia to the strongest it's been in years. Vladimir Putin is a thug and a murderer and a killer. Is Putin a really bad guy? Uh, I certainly Russians don't think so. Mm -hmm. I think he's a very effective president. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'm glad he's not my president. Do you consider Russia a threat to the U.S.? I do. Uh, no. Now it's just uh, a lot of talk. Mm -hmm. If it is a threat, it's a matter of mischief. Mm -hmm. The Russians can get up to mischief. They can beat up small and weak neighboring states. They can hack into our computer systems. And since they feel that they're not being given the respect and attention that they deserve, mm -hmm. that's a good way to get that attention. Now, our expert says he doesn't really blame Putin solely because he says that Putin is just following the opinion of the Russian people. He says it's also important to remember we have very few interests in common with Russia politically or economically. He also says he doesn't believe that our president-elect and Putin will have a very good relationship for very long. Because we were talking, part yeah. of it is just big egos, big personalities, mm -hmm. and maybe a clash of personalities. Yeah, he said it's going to be hard for two people with those kinds of personalities to be in the same room at the same time. That's his opinion, so we'll have to see what happens. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting, right? right? It sure will be. Right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Heather. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have a good question for Heather, you can email it by going to wcco.com slash links.